summer when Rocky was training, and he wasn't training hard enough because uh, yes, Clubber Lang was in the in the basement really yes. training. I kick his ass. Hey woman, hey woman, why don't you come over my place? I'll show you what a real man's like. Hey, hey. love that, James Brown. Rocky Three, I think the best of the uh, Rockies. Really? I like the one with Clubber Lang. You thought that was the best one? Uh, yeah. Kind of uh, like that one. Nothing beats the original. Uh, Come on, Anthony. Yeah, the original was amazing. Pain. Maybe as far as all the other movies, because what, they got up to Rocky Ten or something uh, like that? It got so, ridiculous. So Rocky One, obviously. The, the original, the best, and then maybe, I, I would have to agree with you as the second best movie. Yeah? Yeah. I know, the first one's really hokey if you watch it. They're all hokey, I mean, but the first one's like... Eh. All you want to do is go the distance. I kind of like that. <laughs> you see Sly on the uh, Golden Globes last night? No, I missed that. What the hell are they pumping his head up with? His head is so big and round, and it looks like he's definitely had some uh, some work done. Yeah, they all have had work done. It's really odd to look at. You gotta though. think the guy's pushing sixty at this point, right? I know. Oh, you're right. He, he is has to. Yeah. The original Rocky came out thirty years ago. Yeah. Oh, wow. wow. Good point. They had to be at least mid twenties by then, right? Yeah. Yes, Eric. His um his whole little speech was how he was complaining that Clint Eastwood made a boxing movie without yeah. him. And uh, directed and wrote and scored and everything. Did it himself. Well, uh, Clint, Eastwood has, hoo -hoo. Clint Eastwood has a boxing movie out? <laughs> Haven't seen that one yet. Apparently, so I've heard. Yeah. Anyway, um, Anthony, really fast. I got a quickie. We hate Cindy Adams. Oh, she's funny, Oprah. Come we absolutely on. hate this bitch. I like her. <laughs> she writes for the New York Post, and I guess she's... Uh, I, what is she? Is she a gossip columnist officially? I... Uh, I, I have no idea. She's one of these uh, socialites, I guess, in Manhattan, and she thinks she's in the know. And the know-it-all. She knows uh, the hot scenes, and she knows... Uh, They're she, leeches. She throws parties, and everyone wants to hang with Cindy Adams because she yeah. knows what's going on, and and, uh, and then some of these uh, celebrities call her with a little gossip and little little things, and... She seems like the type that shows up at these parties and writes about it, but the truth of the matter is, I think she just knows people that go to these things and give her reports because she's ancient now. She can't be going out, hanging out until, what, 3 in the morning, going to Puffy's party and stuff. She probably got people that just call her up and go, yeah, I saw this one, that one, and that one. They were doing this. I'm a little distracted, though. They're saying it's, uh, oh, that the, that the song we just played from James Brown is from Rocky IV, not Rocky Three. Is that Rocky possible? Rocky Four. What was the plot of Rocky IV? Rocky IV is when he goes to fight the Russian. Was it? Maybe at, it was. I don't at know. At the end, he makes that great speech. Yeah, that would about... make sense that it was uh, in Rocky IV because he's fighting the Russian. Uh, what song America. was playing when he was... Uh... Maybe Eye of the Tiger. Oh, maybe Eye of the Tiger? No. Dun, not when he wasn't dun, working dun, out dun. properly. No. No? No. no when he was, I know which scene you mean. When he's in the gym smiling, the girl yeah, gives yeah. him a kiss, and Mickey goes, Get the hell out of here! Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. Mickey C-blocks him. It's a spectacle. Yeah, yeah, it was one of those, uh, it was that scene. Oh, here's another cringe. Here's, I, I did see his brother, though. What's his name? What's Frank Stallone? Frank Stallone, like, in the back of the shot. So maybe he was singing something. Did you hmm. see in part four at the end when he makes the speech about how the Russians and the Americans could get along? Oh. That's everything that Stallone is, is an ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that's exactly your idea of what a poignant statement is. Well, uh, an ass, that he wrote a movie where at the end, the Russians are actually chanting for Rocky, Rocky. Rocky. Yeah. Oh pompous ass it just makes you it makes you get like goosebumps i want to do that i want to make that a new feature to bring in awful acting moments <laughs> and stallone is going to have about 30 of the oh, top 50 well we could, uh, the listeners will help us out with that it's their show too it's I, not over i thought that was overrated if but you, if it's you, over johnny if you know of a bad it's over nothing is over yeah. nothing you just don't turn it off how about your career after judge dread <laughs> that would be over wouldn't it stupid <laughs> we could have the listeners start uh, sending in their <clears throat> what they think is bad acting moments. Cause as much it as was you... Rocky Three. Uh, uh, James Brown is ro is in Rocky Four. Eye of the Tiger is Rocky Eye of the three. Tiger was Rocky Three. Yeah, but I don't know what the song was. What was, he what was the song in, in Rocky scene, Two? Rocky Two. Was there a song in Rocky Two? Was there a definitive? I love song? Rocky Two, man. That was song? great. Well, he wins because he finally wins. It's it's. I like Paul nice. yelling at him. <laughs> Get up, Rocky! It was great. <laughs> Burt Young. <laughs> that waste uh, of space. I just like the fact that Adrian had Ooh. hair like Lady Di. <laughs> <laughs> very happy. Anyway, back to Cindy Adams. So she writes for the Post. They give her a whole page, I don't know, a few times a week. Yeah. And it's always really just bad stuff. It just amazes me. There's no one else out there that could write columns for, for these big uh, metropolitan newspapers. 
where you would read it and go, wow, that's Clark kind Kent. of kind of uh, clever, kind of funny. Yeah, they, they have these people, and they work for these papers until they die. And that's pretty much it. They, they have a job until they die. So she's in there with absolutely no concept of what anybody in this day and age does, relates to, enjoys. This woman is completely out of touch. Yeah, well, she, wrote, she I guess she thinks she, she has a funny bone. Because she was married to a, a comedian, Joey, Joey Adams. Comedian back in the 30s? Uh, during the, the Borscht Belt. You know, when I was era. in vaudeville. Does she end the column this time with only in New York kids? Kids? Only in New York. I, I Honestly, I didn't even get to the end of this. The, this is only half of it, and it's quick. Um, what's on for 2005? We're into this new year. Predictions? Kind of her predictions. Ooh, ah. All right. Ooh. A little spin on all the predictions that are out there. Oh, these are going to be good. Ah, She's good. Oh, Anna Nicole Smith. On your laughing hat. <laughs> puts out her own line of fruitcakes. Prime ingredient. Nuts. Yeah. <laughs> that is if she doesn't eat the entire shipment herself beforehand. Oh. See, now that's, Why is this in a paper? I'll tell you what would have been funnier if she said Mabel King puts out her own line of fruitcakes and then eats them and has to have both of her legs cut off due to the <laughs> sugar intake. <laughs> 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 yeah, that would be funnier. Oh. Well, uh, she continues. I only picked out a few. I mean, it goes on forever. Oh, this let's column. get a bunch of them in. Oh, yeah. I want people to laugh. This is a comedy program. Yeah. All right. The next one, an Afghan cave publishes a Where's Waldo type book titled, Where's Osama? <laughs> what year is this for? 2005. A Finding Osama joke? And she has to explain the joke by making sure you where's Waldo. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, awful. You know what would have been funnier there mm. if she said that uh, somebody swung a bat at her stomach, and then they made a book called "Where's My Uterus." <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm laughing at that uh, line, so sure. Um, what's on for 2005? Paris Hilton becomes a nun. Everybody. Oh, <laughs> I get it. Cause oh! She's, a, cause she's a whore. <laughs> That's oh, terrific. You know what would have been funnier, though? <clears throat> if she said Michael Jackson becomes a priest and then takes the altar boys and makes finger puppets out of them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, sure. Yeah, she's oh, my. Oh, she's nuts, though, man. Oh, my a stars. Oh, what boy. a hoot. Yeah. Uh, the next one, um, Bill Maher adopts the old... God, God damn it, are you... Whoa, whoa. Uh, see? Good save. It's not all that easy, is it? <laughs> that was you. It wasn't me. <laughs> all right, all right. It Don't... Yeah. Bill Maher what? Yeah, I know, I stepped on it. Bill Maher adopts the Olsen twins? What? Why? What does that even mean? I don't know. It what? Been... Bill Maher adopts... The Olsen twins. Now, you know how she could have made that funnier? Huh. Andrea Yates adopts the Olsen twins. See, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's just a little wording there. Glug, glug. I guess, she, I guess she's saying that Bill, though, you know, is pretty racy. Is that what it is? Yeah, she's good. What the hell are you talking about? Exactly. Oh, uh, Cindy. Uh, you know, watch Cindy. She's encouraging. You haven't made it out yet. I want to see if you could go through this whole list with us. What? Well, now I'm going to put the pressure on you. So far, uh -oh. you've had a, a much better line. Kick oh. the field goal. John Kerry enters politics, everyone. Oh, assuming, uh, well, because of his uh, turnout in uh, the election that he, he uh, hasn't been in politics. I, 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 uh. <laughs> but you know what? He did pretty well. The guy got a lot of, what is she talking about? She's just ironic like that. Condoleezza gets a crew cut. What? This is Cindy Adams in the Post over the weekend. Um, Condoleezza gets a crew cut. Predictions what does that for mean? 2005. Why? Who? Why? Yes, that's only funny if Condoleezza gets her because crew cut. Because isn't she the uh, uh, Secretary of uh, Defense? So she's like an army guy, girl thing. So don't they get crew cuts? So, so, so she has to now cut her hair because she's doing a man's job, and usually the men have the. 
flat top marine thing going right, on. I, yeah, whatever. Wow. <laughs> How about this? Uh, Cindy Adams gets a crew cut by uh, Ayman Al Zawari. <laughs> Still a hundred, my friend. I, I should have went with Alzar Cowie, but you know it's okay. Right. It works. Yeah, all them chink villages sound the same. You know, <laughs> drim drum. And... This one will make you puke. Oh, this one will make you puke. Mini Me becomes basketball commissioner. Oh, see, it's a height joke because he's really short, and everyone in the NBA is really tall. So. <laughs> <laughs> It might have been funnier. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> he said, "Mini me crawls out of the ocean in Modesto and yells, i 'I'm home, Pop.'" <laughs> Mama, this <tis> for you. <laughs> Still bad a hundred, my friend. Oh, very good. <clears throat> that was off the center field wall. I might have. Queen Elizabeth, predictions for 2005, according to the witty Cindy Adams of the New York Post over the weekend. Queen Elizabeth learns plastic eyeglasses do not go with a tiara. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, ho, ho. hee, ha. God damn it. Are you fucking with me? <laughs> that one will just let sit there. Uh, Robert Blake, everyone, prediction for 2005. He's voted president of the NRA. Anyone else getting really uncomfortable? Hello, exactly! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Captain Obvious with your humor. That's just brilliant. She's oh. that's absolutely a, that's atrocious. A, that's just brilliant writing. Amber Fry buys waterproof mascara. Wow. I almost respect uh, that. That's almost <laughs> good. But I think it's got something to do with tears. Yeah, yeah. I crying. No, it's just because no. she cries wherever she is. <laughs> oh, these see, days. I thought maybe she was really going yeah. for some Opie and Anthony show humor. No, 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 no. It's because uh, every interview she's done lately, she's in tears. So when you and, dump her off the boat, yeah, her, right. at least her mascara won't run. Now that's funny. How about uh, Cindy Adams comes home and there's a non-skeleton sitting there? Wait, someone is uh, disagreeing that you're not batting 100. Which line didn't... It, a thousand, they're probably saying. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, Steve. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, hey, Jimmy's not batting a hell of 100. He didn't get one back for, uh, county politics. Oh, there's a couple I don't have him back for. Oh, yeah, for. yeah, no, he's only, you know, he's he's picking and choosing his pitches. My yeah, friend. I haven't seen these, dude. I haven't. If I saw them and had a few minutes, maybe I could have put something together. Yeah, no, he's picking and choosing his yeah. pitches. A, a couple of them are way outside. He couldn't really swing at them. That, yeah. Hello, the, exactly! Some of these are so bad, you can't even swing at the pitch, is what uh, we're getting at here. Uh, Al Sharpton takes up the cause of unemployed Scandinavians. This oh, wait a minute, wait awful. a minute, because he typically does yeah. black things. Right. And Scandinavians are as white as you get. Whitest don't need help because they go to work on their own. Yeah, it's just a little I think, bit. I think albinos would have worked better in that uh, joke. If I'm thinking like Cindy Adams. Yeah. She really yeah. should have her knuckles smashed. You bounding incompetent. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, what's on for 2005 for... Donald Trump, well, he's going to manufacture a line of hair products, everyone. Oh, <laughs> enough with Donald's hair. Yeah. She went with that one. God. Here's a funnier one. Nancy Reagan comes out with her own line of bras. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, another base hit for Jimmy. Let's see. Uh, uh, well, uh, predictions for 2005. Chinese takeout takes out the MSG, everyone. And Italian takes out, and the Italian uh, takeout takes out the carbs. Uh huh? Italian takeout takes out the carbs. This is horrific. She wrote that and and smiled like she was happy with herself. This is the New York Post. Joaquin Phoenix should be acting this out as dialogue. <laughs> take out the carbs. Cut out the carbs. This the is the this is the best that uh, Condoleezza Rice. The Post has to offer its readers.
Yeah. Yeah. Hello, exactly. <laughs> Hello, exactly. Hello, exactly. By the way, you know, that's my favorite clip right now. I love that one. You really need to use that more often. Boogie Nights, Dirk Diggler. Hello, exactly. All right. Um.